All right, here we go. We're going to be going over how to do effects like this. <laughs> like this. Yo, let's get a beat real quick. Ooh. And even something like this. Is anybody there? This utilizes two different programs, Snapcam and Voice Mod, and we're going to be able to activate all these effects using a stream deck. We're going to need to download these programs first. We're going to need Voice Mod, which is a free program you can download, as well as Snap Camera. Then if you're using the Stream Deck as well, you need to make sure you have the app installed. We're going to start out with the Snap Camera. We're going to make sure we go over to our gear icon, set up our camera. You'll choose the camera that you want to use. You can configure your resolution. After that, you can sift through the Snap Camera options. If you find a lens that you like, all you have to do is press this star icon and it's going to favor it for you. So once you have a favorite, you can go to the star icon on the top left hand corner. This is going to be all of your saved lenses. All right, so we're going to go into our Stream Deck app. We're going to go ahead and find a blank slate for us to use. If there's a drop down that's not appearing for you, all you have to do is click on this icon. This window will pop up and then all you have to do is go over to plugins. So for example, you're going to need to download the Voice Mod plugin anyway. So go ahead and install that and then we can get to work. So in order to make this happen with one button press, we're going to create a multi action button inside of our stream deck and then put multiple actions inside of that. So back in the stream deck under the stream deck drop down, we're going to choose this multi action. We're going to drag it onto the canvas. We're going to find our voice mod drop down and then we're going to select voice changer. Then you're going to select the voice that you want. We're going to need to hop back into snap camera real quick. We're going to go over to our favorites and then sliding to the right. There's a hotkey menu. Go ahead and click on that. You're going to create a hotkey for a lens you want to use. So you're going to add the hotkey and type it in and then we're going to use this to put inside of our stream deck. Back in the stream deck app, we're going to go over to the system drop down and we're going to add a hotkey on top of this. We're going to click inside of the hotkey and we're going to use the same hotkey that we just set up. Cool. So right now, if I press the button, we get the snap cam effect as well as the voice effects, but it's missing the sound effects. So we're going to go head over to this website, my instance. I'll link this down below as well. You can sift through this and find a sound that you want. Once you found your sound, you can test the sound by pressing on the button. And if that's the sound that you want, you can go ahead and click on the name and you're going to use the download to MP3. Once that's done, we're going to go down to the sound deck icon and we're going to drag play audio on top of this. We're going to add our new MP3 file. We'll go ahead and find it. We'll open it and then you can click on this cog wheel to change the volume of that sound as well. So now if you press the button, we get the effect and the sound as well. Now you can get a little fancy too if you want to. If we go under the OBS tab, we can go to scene, drag a scene on there and we can have it swap to a scene when we press the button at the same time. So now if I go back to my main scene and I press the button, so you can see you get a whole effect with just one button press. So you can customize however you see fit. One important thing that we do need to do is a way to turn off these effects as well. There's different ways you can do this. If you just want to press one button and have it do everything under the stream deck icon, we're going to go ahead and add a delay. We'll put this as 5,000. That's going to be about five seconds. And we're pretty much just reverse engineering this. So we're going to go back to voice mod and add another voice changer. For this one, we're going to select clean. So it goes back to the original audio. We can go ahead and copy this pre-made hotkey. Go ahead and paste it down here. This is going to turn off the snap cam effect. And then we're going to go back down to the sound deck. We're going to drag on the stop audio just in case the sound is a little bit long. And then if you want to go back to another scene, you can add another scene as well. So with one button press, all these effects should enable. We got the zoom in, scene change. We got the sound effects, snap camera filter the voice, then everything reverts automatically by itself. Ideas are limitless, so have fun. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you need any help or assistance, drop a comment down below. I will try my best to assist you. But until then, we'll see you.